Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Welcome to the another edition on classes and objects in Kotlin. In the previous video, we have already seen the very basic aspect of what a class is and how a class is defined. So let's get started with what can be there in a class or what are the contents of a typical class. You can have something called attributes which are also called as properties or instance variables of the class. So in this case you can see that the class person has got first name and last name. And then you have primary constructor. A constructor without any parameters is called as primary constructor or you can also have secondary constructor which is a parameterized constructor. And a class can have any number of constructor. So in this case you are only seeing a primary and secondary but in reality you may actually see one primary constructor and many secondary constructors depending upon the signature of the parameters in each constructor will change. And then you see init blocks and you can have one or more init blocks in a class. And then finally you have some functions which are typically called as methods in Java. When you look at these init blocks and constructor, I am sure you are getting some questions. The question would be what is the correlation between multiple constructors that is in which order they get invoked and how they get invoked. And then if there are multiple init blocks in which order the init blocks get called and also what is the correlation between the init block and the constructors. So it is very important that you have a proper understanding of how these things work before you actually get down to using a class and writing a class to implement any functionality. So the best way to understand this is to get into a demo. So let's get into a demo. It's the same class we saw a few moment back. It has a attributes constructor, parameterized constructor and non-parameterized constructor and few init blocks and the function. Let me remove the constructor and the attributes and let's have only the init blocks and let me create a variable person is equal to I am invoking the default constructor. So what this basically means is even if you don't declare any constructor by default any class would get a primary constructor. And now if I run this particular code, you will observe that the init blocks that this is the first init block, this is the second init block and this is the third init block. They all get printed and they get printed in the order that they have been written. So what I can do is I can just take this and put it behind earlier one and if I run this again that basically means now you will see that third init block will get printed first and then the remaining init blocks will get printed. So the idea is the order of execution of init blocks basically depends on the order in which you have written those init blocks in your class. So let's move further and what we will do is we will make the primary constructor available and then I am basically invoking the primary constructor here and then let me run this particular code again. Basically what we are trying to understand is what is the correlation between the execution of the constructor and the init blocks. So let me run this. Well what you can see is basically the init blocks get executed first and then the primary constructor gets invoked. So if you have init blocks and the primary constructor then the primary constructor is always the last one to get executed and that is what you are seeing here in the console print. So now let me remove the comments on the secondary constructor and the secondary constructor takes a integer as the parameter. So let me pass a integer and let me run this. Now what is the result? The result is once again the init blocks get executed in the order that they have been written. The primary constructor doesn't get executed only the secondary constructor that we are invoking that's what gets executed. So you can see that this is a secondary constructor is getting printed to the console but this is the primary constructor is not getting printed. So by default whatever the constructor that you are invoking only that gets executed until and unless if you are delegating to the primary constructor. Now what do I mean by delegating to a primary constructor? 
what that means is from the secondary constructor if you invoke the other constructor then you will observe that all the init blocks get executed first and then the primary constructor that is this one and then the secondary constructor so you have got to understand the order in which now these things are getting executed if you just remove this invocation of the primary constructor from the secondary constructor then you will see that only the secondary constructor gets executed now let me add a, another constructor a secondary constructor which takes a string and let me call it as tertiary constructor and this invokes the constructor which takes an integer and this invokes the primary constructor and now if i run this you will observe that the primary constructor executes and the secondary constructor executes because we are invoking the constructor which takes an integer instead of that if i had invoked a constructor which takes a string now you will observe that after the init blocks get executed it is the primary constructor secondary constructor and then the ternary constructor so it is very important that you understand how these things behave we will stop here today we have got to explore few more things in classes so stay tuned for the next video that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye